That guy, congratulations. That honor goes to you. All right, five lights. And we're off racing here in Bahrain. Looks like, uh, ooh, the Red Bull coming up to a great start. Evo coming up the inside. Nicely done from Evo. What a launch as we go into turn one. Where's the fucking camera going? Let's see this action. Oh, my goodness. Evo and Charlie getting ahead of Borga. Off the launch, those hard tires. Not getting the start he won. He's lost three positions in the span of three corners. And we got Evo ahead of Charlie and Menz. Followed by Borga, Liam, and Legend. There is shit going down in the background as well. People are jockeying positions. It is very hard to keep track here. But there are multiple battles. We're seeing uh, like literally like a four-way battle. It's Zach is Beast, Legend, Liam, and Borga all getting in as we go down into turn 10. Very hard breaking point. Could be contact up there at the front. These cars are literally bumper to bumper. Wow, what a start to this race. And yeah, what a start from the Red Bull. Absolutely crazy shit. And we still got more shenanigans. I'm sure everyone right with each other. Looks like there's a little bit of separation up at the top of the grid, but that's to be expected. In the middle of the pack, it is a fucking dog-eat-dog -dog world. I'm going to try and uh, actually focus on what the hell is actually happening. Ooh, looks like uh, Liam and Borgo. Legend, it looks like uh, it might have made a dive bomb up there. Wish I could have seen that. Wow. Borga's lost out six positions now. In the span of pretty much a lap. So those hard tires not getting off to the start he would have necessarily wanted. Zach is beast. Looked like he got a little squirrely there. And something happened in the background. It looks like something to do with Blaze and Jack. Hopefully everything is okay in the background. I just don't want to get yelled at because this battle up here is actually insane. He's looking, having a look on the inside. Things better of it. So oh my goodness, you can see, you can see the brainwaves thinking like, should I do it? Should I do it? No, no, fuck it, fuck it, fuck that, fuck that. I'm out. He's still right behind him though. Also, a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a second lap. DRS will be activated next lap. So I'll have the top two. In a DRS range of each other. That's Evo and Charlie. Man, Evo, what a launch. Showing his stuff. Showing why he won uh, last week's race. I keep trying to say yesterday's race for fucking summer. Last week's race. Showing why he won Australia. And now he's come to the desert to show his stuff. We got Zachy's Beast getting a little bit of slipstream. Night. Will he even need DRS? He's hey, fake the inside going on. Can he make the long move around the outside? Liam planning his car very nicely done. That's an Alonzo defense right there from Liam. But Zachy's beast now coming up. Oh my God, can he get the inside line? Jesus, Murphy. This is some tight driving. Liam and Zachy's beast. Zachy's beast now trying to give some room. Yeah, he's got to back out a little bit. Now he's going to try and probably attack after turn 10. We almost saw a Kvyat versus Stroll moment there. But, of course, we got no Canadians in this grid, so we're probably not going to see anything stupid like that. <laughs> Charlie and Evo still with each other. We got Lee Menz kind of in a world of his own. He's got to be maybe fighting off Legend shortly. Legend is on. He's got some good pace with those mediums, folks. Liam also always under pressure with Zach the Beast. Got Scar Borga and Adrian also right behind with Golden Play. There's a huge fucking train right here. All the way behind P5, all the way to fucking P13, folks, is in a DRS train. I mean, even in most of the leagues that I do comps for, this is not that close. This, like, it's just not this close. It's just, it's just not. Some fucking fun racing here. Only four laps into this race. Got fucking, what, 25 to go. I love it. 
I love it. I love racing, folks. I just love fucking racing. It is such a great sport. Well, that's another thing, too, Leon, they have to think of. You know, with all these close driving, it's very easy to, you know, miss a braking point or fuck something up, you know? Try to make a move on the inside. Try to make a move you weren't supposed to, and you end up fucking your, the guy ahead of you and fucking your, you know, front wing up or something. But these guys are just holding their own, keeping their distance between the car ahead. Oh, just as I say that. That's some great action here, folks. Great action. That guy looks like he's having a look at Golden Egg. But everyone isn't, as I said before, everyone's in that DRS train, so it's not going to be very easy to make an overtake there. Someone's got to muck up their exit or something, you know? See how Charlie does. If he can uh, get some work done on Evo, he's saving up on battery, it seems. Taking advantage of uh, the DRS. And Evo breaking the slipstream, going up far onto the inside. Like, get the fuck away from me. Evo's got some very good exit speed, folks. Oh, Liam has spun! So, Liam has spun at the, uh, it looks like either turn two or maybe, yeah, it was probably turn two. Going around the corner there. Oh, there's a Red Bull! Just went fucking flying! Oh, my goodness, in the background. The Red Bull of SLR Jack. I'm shocked there's no VSE. I am shocked there is no VSC. Oh my goodness. All right, let's watch this little battle. And then I do have an instant replay for the ladies and gentlemen. Don't you worry. So Charlie, not able to get the move done there. Let's go to our instant replay, folks. And we were just watching uh, the stricken Liam, I believe it was. And then in the background, you just see the Red Bull get smashed. Oh my goodness. So our first big incident, at least, occurring in lap five. Unfortunately, uh, SLR Jack is the victim here. And these two guys really pulling away from the rest of the pack. Completely in a league of their own. And now Charlie going up the inside, coming into turn one. Nicely done from Charlie. Oh, shit. Wrong button. <laughs> now we go to Evo. Can he fight back? Coming into turn four. Yes, he can. Nicely done from Evo. This little battle here. Charlie and Evo. Oh, Charlie with the switch back. Now. But Evo has that outside line. Is Charlie going to have to back? Charlie will back out. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's so early in the race. There's no reason to just, you know, jump the gun, let's be honest. But fucking hell. Jack, okay, first person to retire from the session. <laughs> oh, poor Leon. Oh, well, seems like the men's train is kind of slow. It looks like Borga has fallen off the pace a little bit. But we do remember, have to remember that he's on the hard compound. I'm sure once he gets the hard going, he won't be too bad. Just really got to make sure that his tires are on temperature and he doesn't lose the grip, you know? It's just so easy to lose it at any point in time. And I know a lot of these guys do not use any assists. I mean, coming from me who uses medium assist and I still spin, and then anytime I use full traction, or no traction, sorry, I'll, like, I'm a, oh my goodness, what the hell just happened there? What the fuck is going on here? Zach is beasting. Men's having a battle, but Legends in his own world coming up. Look at that little switchback. Oh my goodness. Was crazy driving has become into turn four. Is men's gonna get able? 
Oh shit, Legends, no, Legends able to hold him off. Oh my goodness. I think we have to give a replay for that. It's really rare that I do give replays for overtakes and battles. But that deserves a little bit of an overtake. I wish I had more of a replay to show you. Maybe I have to get like a 30 second replay clip or something. But holy fuck. What a little battle that was there. I wish I had got the switch back though from turn one into the chicane. That was absolutely gorgeous shit there. So now it's the legend train, folks. That those whole those, that whole shenanigan has allowed Borgo to catch up right to the pack, and we have the second victim of Bahrain. Looks like uh, turn ten has claimed a victim, and that would be Drastic Blaze having a drastic spin. But damn, this train is massive, and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. And, you know, it's crazy to think that these two guys are literally pulling away each and every lap with their little battles here. And it's not like they're even not battling. It's not like they're dragging themselves along. They're actually battling for P1 at times. Can men's come up the inside now on Legend? It looks like he will, but Legend... The master of the switchback, as we've seen before. Oh! My goodness, there was three cars going in, and Zach is beast. Actually backed out there. Wow. Kind of a little surprise there. Looked like Zach is beast was going to go aggressive and actually try and make the move. And then he decided against that the very last second, but definitely getting his nose in there. Well, men's... Holding. Now it's the men's train once again, as Oguin stated earlier. But we got Legends and Beast right there. This is really anyone's race. Uh, someone has spun in the background. Looks like Koopa Benz in the McLaren is the victim this time. So we already have uh, three cars. Or four cars that have made mistakes now. Eight laps in. The other 16 on the other hand. It is a fight to the death. Well I guess. Let's be honest. It's really 14 cars fighting to the death. And then these two motherfuckers. Are just in their own galaxy. It's like uh. It's like Hulk and Thor, you know? And then you have, like, Iron Man, Captain America. <laughs> Black Panther. Doctor Strange. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. Just in their own worlds. That's basically what I'm getting at, okay? We're just going to ignore that Doctor Strange can go to multiple dimensions now. <laughs> Still a fucking fun battle. We got Charlie, Evo. Been right with each other for pretty much a full 10 laps now. Lee Men's holding off Legend, Beast, and Borga. Like, it's just one mistake from any of these drivers, folks. And... You know, it just backs you down so far, and it's going to be so hard to catch up. Finally having a little bit of separation. That looks like that guy going up on the inside into the final corner. Oh, there's contact. There was definite contact. His egg fryer went around the outside. That guy couldn't get his turn or her car turned in as much as he wanted. Now, Adrian going to be the first person to actually take a pit stop um, that wasn't necessarily mandatory or because of damage. So Adrian coming in quite early onto the hard. going to try for that undercut. We'll see how this works out. We're watching that guy and Golden Egg Fryer. It's jockeying positions here. And that guy coming up on the inside. Is Golden Fryer going to do the switch back? Yeah, he is. He's going to try it at least. Can that guy hold it though? Yeah, he will. He's going to be able to keep that speed. And Egg Fryer has to back out for the time being. Nicely done from the Alpha Tower driver. 
That is some great driving from these guys. And they're not even fighting really for those top positions. It's just 7th and 8th, but it's just some fucking fun driving. Love to see it. Still up here, we have the men's train. It's gotten a little smaller since uh, the start of this race, but we still have Legend, uh, Beast, Borga, all behind Menza as it stands. And of course, Charlie and Evo. Can't forget about those two. <laughs> Cannot forget about those two. How could you forget about those two? Well, there we go. The uh, Ferrari teammate has now come in. Ferrari opting for a early pit strategy. This could this could be interesting, folks. How this all plays out, you know. Zach's beast was having a look. Like, nah, fuck that. Anyways, we're down to uh, three in this battle. Uh, Adrian and Lee Menz have come into the pits. So we're going to see how that all works out for them. <laughs> Take care, Leon. All the best. I love when that uh, wing opens. That was pretty cool. That was a cool visual there. Looks like uh, Liam in the background had a another mistake. He's up to P14 actually considering. So, but yeah, he's got Lee Menz and Adrian who box. That's right. Still, could be worse. <laughs> Just hearing Jeremy Clarkson in my head when I hear that. Still, could be worse. <laughs> and then you just show like James Clarkson <laughs> anyways there we go legend coming into the pits so a lot of our medium runners coming in now I have seen a lot of people opt for maybe two stop strategies here in Bahrain I'm thinking that these guys are just going to go for the one let's be honest I can't really see two stops unless a late safety car occurs, which I hope doesn't happen. Zach is beast sitting with Scar Borga. Man, I got to keep an eye on so many guys in the background. We got Legend, Menz, and Adrian all in the background there. They're P15, 16, and 17 respectively. But don't take that as their actual positions because they have made their mandatory pit stops. They can go to the end of the race now. There's pretty much everyone ahead of them have to actually make a mandatory pit stop. Yeah, everyone ahead of Legend has to take a mandatory pit stop. So I rest my case on that. Uh, looks like MASH has left the session. Maybe a internet connection issue there? I have to imagine it is. does seem like his car has been destroyed, which is always a positive. So that means he can uh, get back into the lobby at least and uh, maybe regain control of his vehicle. Ooh, that, whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, it's like his beast is coming. That's what. Sometimes I get nervous when I see major drops like that. But it's all right. We got the medium runners coming into their... Into the... Uh, the pits for the mandatory changes. Obviously, the hard runner is going to be staying out a lot longer than the medium runners. Um, big surprise, though, to me at least. These medium guys are just flying through it. Doesn't seem like they were really fighting in that whole pack. So maybe they were able to save a little more grain to the tire. That's my that's my Canadian theory for the day. Danny D having a look at Egg Fryer now. Ooh, coming up on the inside of turn 10. He's going to get DRS too. Looks like Egg Fryer though had the uh, better exit speed. 
And it will probably be able to hold off Danny D coming here into turn 11. We've seen this part. This has been a tricky area, though. Uh-oh. Someone someone messed up in the background. I think that was Sadier Clock. Or so Sotir Sadier. However you pronounce his freaking name. He messed up coming down to turn four, it seemed. Now we have Danny D. I'm excited for this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this right now. Danny D, I think, is feeling it. By the way, Charlie is now dropped out of DRS range of Evo. That's huge. Eggfrag coming into the pits. And Danny D on the hards, able to get that DRS advantage as well. But he is running out of juice in the battery department. A lot of these guys actually are, to be honest with you. Let's go back up to the front. We have Charlie and Evo. Charlie has saved up a little more battery than Evo, but he's now fallen out of DRS range. He's going to want to start hunting down that three-tenths of a second that he's lost to Evo. It's like uh, MASH getting ahead of uh, Koopa Benz here. So P8 for MASH. Nicely done. Zach is beasts. All right, so he actually got ahead of Lee Menz. Nice. Well, Lee Menz is on a charge because he's actually got some heat into the tires, where Zach is beast is probably still trying to get heat into the tires. Takes about one and a half to two laps for their hards to kick in, let's be honest. So Zach is going to be under a little bit of pressure. Let's go back up through the field. Evo has come in. Charlie going for the overcut. So let's keep an eye on where Evo comes out in all this. I mean, they had a massive gap at one point. And Borga on that hard compound. Now into P2. Still has to make his mandatory pit stop, of course. But he will be on the faster tire to end this race. <coughs> oh, Evo. Oh, no, it's Evo. Evo had come out of the pits and had lost the rear end. That is heartbreaking stuff for the Red Bull driver. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure Charlie has no idea that has happened right now. So Charlie is kind of in his own world, probably thinking, oh my God, I got to drive, I got to drive, I got to get in. But Charlie's actually golden right now. Oh my God, why am I going through the field like an asshole? I'm so sorry. Liam, now going to be putting pressure on to Evo. I'm sure Evo will recover fine, but oh my goodness. That could have been disastrous. Luckily, his main competition even behind him isn't very close. Like, Zach is beast. Still has a lot of time for to catch up to Evo, but in the battle for P1, here we go. We're going to see Charlie coming in. And Charlie's probably holding his breath like, oh, let's wait for uh, Evo. But he's not going to see Evo. He's not going to see Evo on his mini-map. Look at this. Because Evo is down there. So Charlie probably just like, what is just gone down? We're going to keep an eye on Charlie, though. Make sure he doesn't pull an Evo. And we come into turn one. Can he keep it? Right. Yes, he can. Oh, my goodness. So, as you guys can see, there is a five, at least a five, five and a half second gap between Charlie and Evo now. And still a massive gap between Evo and Zachy's Beast. So, it just tells you the gap that they had actually formed to begin with. But, yeah, Charlie in... Prime position here. Now let's go up to the front. I know these guys have to box, but they're still battling it out. We got Danny D and that guy. Uh-oh, something happened. I think that was Kislesko. And uh, Egg Fryer, it looks like, got into it. Hopefully there's no damage to uh, Egg Fryer. I'm just going to see if there's any damage to him. No, there's no damage. We're good. We're good, folks. 
The important question has been answered. It's all that matters in life. And Danny D now. Gonna be putting pressure onto that guy because we go into the main straight. No. Borga and that guy actually coming into the pits now. So now we have the hard runners. Coming into the pits, going on to that medium compound. We're gonna see where they come out and all this. Gotta think though, Charlie is loving this on that hard compound. And now he's actually going to see that gap between himself and Evo. Wow. Very unfortunate stuff for Evo. Just one f little mistake has potentially cost him the win here. And Scar Borga came out in a prime position right ahead of Zack is beast, folks. And he's on the mediums. Of course, he still needs to get heat into the, uh, into the tires. They are cold right now. Zach is beast. Putting on the pressure on the Borga. Trying to force him into a mistake with the cold tires. Zach, or Borga needs to stay calm. He's got a lot of runners behind him. Fast guys on a hard compound that have heat in them. They can run half decently quick. It's just Borga needs this. Borga fucking needs this. Oh my goodness. I think that also another positive thing for Borga too. Let's be honest. He has DRS from Pazuzu up here. And that's definitely going to help in the straights. Um, especially if he can't get his foot down as fast as the hard runners at this point in time. But he should be okay after this first lap here. Alright, we got Blaine over here coming into the pits finally. We'll see where he comes out. Danny D has hold the proverbial lead. But we know the real leader is Charlie right now. Ahead of Evo and technically Scar Borga is now going ahead of Pazuzu. Borga just left Zach is Beast and Pazuzu in the fucking dust. Now Beast is going to really want to get ahead of his teammate so he can keep fighting with Scar or maybe he just thinks that Scar is just going to be in a world of his own. Which is a real possibility because he is on the medium tires and I'm sure he wants to hunt down Evo. Borga going to be sitting in proverbial P3 as it stands. And it looks like Pazuzu did allow his teammate to get by. So now Pazuzu going to be playing defense to legend men's Adrian. Even that guy. Ooh, that guy having a look on Adrian. Coming into turn 10. Oh, and he clips too much of the curb there and almost loses it. That sucks. <laughs> Tell you that for free. So, uh, tried to get a little aggressive there. Placed his car probably in a position he regrets at this point in time. And, uh, yeah, has lost a, a second to Adrian. But they're having their little battle, so it's not really a big deal. Danny D finally coming in as well. Legends making the move on Pazuzu. So, Pazuzu not able to even hold off Legends for... A full lap. As now Legend on the hunt. Oh yeah, Pazuzu's coming in. That's what it is. Didn't even see that. He couldn't put up a fight. Let's be honest. His tires were probably screaming at him. All the McLaren! That was Danny D! I think Danny D had just come out of the pits. Ran into a bunch of traffic there. And luckily, there's no damage to the front wing, but definitely hindering that exit. And up here, we have that guy making contact with Adrian now. And of course, Adrian just kind of backing out, just letting things settle in. Danny D is going to be struggling with his braking points, though. Adrian has at least heat in his tires, whereas D needs to keep it cool for this first lap. Go back up to the front. We have Evo still sitting at 3.7 seconds. Borga has made up a little bit of time to Evo. I think he was sitting at 5 seconds at one point. He's down to 4.6. See if the uh, gap drops any faster. Still have a nice four-man battle here. That was a little aggressive from that guy. But, of course, I'm not a steward, so I don't really give a shit with regards to that. But we did see it. And... Uh, 
Don't be surprised if you guys see it in the stewards report later on today. Oh, I think the, the thing that's going to be the issue for men's here is the hard tires because the mediums definitely have the advantage. And men's and legends actually came in quite early, especially, and Adrian especially. So those hard tires are not going to be as strong for the end of this race. And yeah, that guy called, wow, right up the inside and uh, kind of almost preventing men's from getting an exit. Danny D sticking his nose in. Having to back out there. Adrian now coming in to the frame. And taking advantage of Danny D's uh, mishap there. Can he go around the outside? No, he can't. Danny D nicely done holding that position. Some very smooth driving here. But that guy. You know that guy? Do you know that guy? I don't know that guy. But it looks like he is on a charge. And because he has a three-second time penalty, I think he has three seconds, right? Yeah. So because he has three seconds, he's really being aggressive and uh, trying to pull himself away from at least Lee so he can keep the P6 position. Because as it stands, he's dropping multiple positions. Like, he'll be lucky to get a point at this point. No, well, he'll probably get a point because Ben's is so far. But still, you get what I'm saying. He needs to push. Push the car. Push the car. That guy, we, that guy, we need you to push, please. Oh, Danny D. Coming up the outside, but men's not giving up that position without a fight. Can D do a little switchback out of the chicane? Yeah, he can. Nicely done from Danny D. That was gorgeous. And I got that replay. I'm not fucking around this time. That was some sexy ass driving. Here we go. Coming up out of turn one. We go back to the McLaren. Going around the outside. Into that chicane. Nicely done. Holy fuck. News update, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Evo has made up now a second to Charlie. But Charlie is saving up some batteries. So that is one thing to know. Borga also isn't really catching up to the guys ahead of him, even though he does have technically the tire compound advantage. But he is sitting comfortable in his own world in P3 right now. Zaki's Beast in P4. Under threat maybe from Legends. We have, we have seen Legend just be a pain in the ass sometimes. He's a very quick driver in his own right. Just going to be a matter if he can make up at least that three two tenths of a second to get into the drs range and maybe put on some pressure on the zaki's beast as this race concludes or it comes down to its concluding laps and it's been quite an entertaining race so far here in bahrain And actually, ironically, I did. I know I did say Bahrain is uh, one of my favorite tracks in the game, but my actual favorite track in the entire game is the next one. So, oh my! And with a level of skill, I have to commentate for McKeon Division next week. Like I have to. Saudi Arabia Jeddah. Holy shit! That's gonna be sick. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, um, before I get into my yelling mode, oh my goodness, something happened in the background. Drastic Blaze lost control. Luckily, there's no VSCs or no safety cars, so we can just keep on racing, but Evo on a charge, guys. Evo is definitely on a charge in the Red Bull. He's making up little time, but will it be too little too late, or will he have enough time? He's got one point. He's basically got a second to make. 1.1 seconds, essentially. Oh, 
Lee Men's coming up on the inside of Danny D. These two. These two. I mean, there's been battles between Men's, Danny D, that guy, Legend, Zach is Beast. Like, all these guys have been in so many battles. Adrian now having a look on the inside. He's like, fuck you, I'm here. Adrian sticking his shoulders out. Getting aggressive, and now Legendary D makes Oh, no! He gets way too aggressive there. And that is going to cost Danny D. Man, some very aggressive driving, but in my opinion, that was fair aggressive driving. I mean, people are jockeying for positions. They want those extra points. And this is really the time that you can, or the only time you can really get it done, or at least justifyingly try to be a little more aggressive than normal. Obviously, you don't want to pull a Lance Stroll or a Nikita Mazepin, you know? But, I love how I can't say Gotifi because he never got in really a situation like that. <laughs> I think he actually got fucked up by Lance Stroll. I, I remember that. It was, it was Australia, right, in qualifying? When Lance, Lance <laughs> fucking... And Latifi fucking killed each other. I was, oh my god, I'll never forget that day. I was just like, oh, it's a great day to be Canadian. Like, anyways, back to this race. Oh fuck, let's forget about the bad Canadian memories. We got Charlie sitting in P1 still ahead of Evo. Evo slowly bringing that gap down. He's got about six laps to do it, so he's actually or five and a half at least. So he's still got time, folks. There could be a possibility that Evo could make up all that time and fight again for the lead. Scar Borga, though, has done a solid job considering he lost so many spots at the start of this race. I mean, he probably... All that work for pole position literally went down the drain as he was in P7 by lap 2. But he's really made up a lot of ground, and he's had his own. He's been in his own world for his own for this part of the uh, second part of the race, and he's kind of comfortable. I, I'm sure he's happy. He's not going to be comfortable or catching up to Evo anytime soon. But it doesn't seem like Beast is going to be catching up to him. So so long as he makes no mistakes, that is a guaranteed podium for him, as it stands. Looks like Charlie has been saving up. A lot more battery though and I think this is going to be where it's going to come down to maybe a little bit of a mistake if it happens but Zuzu has messed up at turn 11 I mean these guys won't get points but it's just important to note <laughs> very important to note the the incidents happening in the background uh, by the way ladies and gentlemen if anyone is listening I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I will be doing uh, commentating this Sunday for F1 Ellie's League if you guys uh, know who that is or follow her on Instagram, she's one of those Red Bull sponsored people. Anyways, she has her own league. I'm doing comps for her uh, this Sunday. So if you guys want to come out and support, that'd be greatly appreciated. Pazuzu DNF. Ooh, okay. So he doesn't even want to end the race. He's probably just pissed off, which I... Don't blame him. This race has been uh, pretty shit for some drivers. But uh, for the most part, it's been pretty good. Knock on fucking wood. We uh, don't have any VSCs or safety cars. Which would be a complete turnaround from our Australian Grand Prix. I don't know. I think Charlie has got this in the bag just because of how much battery he has left. It's going to take a drastic mistake from one of those, or from Charlie. And I just, I can't see it happening, guys. I See, the closest battle on track, we got the Battle of the Ferraris, as it seems. And Danny D back at it again. I'm sure Adrian is probably like, oh shit, not this Muppet again. Danny D's just like, oh hey, how you doing, man? Remember me? I'm legendary Danny D. 
And Andrew's just like, fuck you, you're not legendary. He's like, yeah, I'm not legendary. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, boy. And that is how the cookie crumbles, my friends. That is how the cookie crumbles. Just let you guys enjoy that. There, no commentary is needed. The McLaren getting a little too aggressive on the curbs. And uh, that is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. So now Danny D is out of the points as it stands. Mash is in 10th. Mash is going to get a point. That is sick. Also, that guy is almost pulled ahead of Lee Men's by three seconds. He could keep P6 as it stands. He just needs to keep pushing, folks. <coughs> I mean, we did tell him to push. We did hear the engineer earlier in the stream. Um, it wasn't me. I know you guys might have thought that was me, but it really was the engineer telling that guy to push the car, and he is definitely doing that. Oh, no, Evo! Evo, no! Scarborga is right here now! Scarborga! Coming up to Evo! What the fuck just happened? Borga now right behind Evo. Evo must have lost the rear end. And now Borga on the hunt for P2. I mean, Borga was just in his own room, just comfortable. Evo's tires probably overheating as well. We'll go to the replay. You can see losing the car. And then we just go on board with Borga. He's just coming through. He's like, oh, yeah. This is crazy, folks. What a crazy turn of events here in the final race. Maybe Evo did this for the ladies and gentlemen. We're going to say that. Evo did this for you guys. He's trying to make it interesting. He wants to make it fun for the ladies and gentlemen. Adrian, I think he's comfortable staying behind his teammate. We're going to fall this battle up here for P2. Charlie sitting comfortably in P1 now. He can breathe a sigh of relief. But Borga on the hunt. For Evo, Evo at least has a lot more battery. Looks like uh, Koopa Benz, the other McLaren. It's just not been McLaren's day. And as a McLaren fan, I hate to see that. But, hey, such is life. As long as it's not Lando, Lando and Oscar, I can uh, I can sleep at night. You know what I mean? But a, a person who might not be able to sleep tonight is Evo. Because he is under pressure. Borga. I mean, what an interesting race this has been for Borga. He kind of... Just really hasn't been battling anyone. Just driving, doing his thing. And now he has Evo right in front of him. I'm, I guarantee you he wishes that he had saved up maybe a little more battery for this battle. He probably was not expecting. But he's got DRS assistance as well. Not using the slipstream. Kind of got into the slip very late there. Folks, we're going to have one lap to go. Can Borga get the move done on Evo? You can see that Borga's tank is red. I don't know what that means. Is he on low fuel? Will he have enough fuel to finish this race? It's flashing. Well, here we go. Borga, this will be his last chance. He's got DRS, but it'll be all down to this chicane exit here. Turn one. Here we go. Can Borga get the move done coming into turn four? <coughs> Only really have one opportunity left. He needs to get this nice and close so he can attack on the downhill turn 10. All right, he's within half a second now. He's within it's about four tenths away. Going through the S's. Down into uh, where Lance Stroll flipped his car. I'm just kidding. Daniel Kvyat made him flip it. But still, it was funny. Now, here we go. Downhill, turn 10. And it looks like Borga has kind of backed out. He's not going to be close enough. Or is he? He kind of made a little bit of a dive bomb there. And it's going to prevent him from hitting the exit he wanted. And that is Evo. Holding off Borga. Wow. So all the Evo fans out there, you must have been holding your breath. 
But as it stands, Charlie will take the Bahrain Grand Prix. I just saw Saudi take the fastest lap of the race. But Charlie, congratulations. That's a solid 25 points for him. Evo! Oh, Evo! What the fuck just happened there? Oh, that's what happened. Scar ran out of fuel. So Evo, even though Evo lost it. Oh my god. Oh, Borga. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have to pick driver of the day. And uh, that, for me, honestly, has to be Borga. It has to be. Scar Borga, you are my driver of the day. I would love to get an interview with you. Actually, I would love to get an interview with the top three, let's be honest. Top three would be fucking sick to get an interview with. But as it stands, we have the uh, top 10. We have SLR Charlie in P1, Evo in P2, Borga P3, Zach is Beast P4, Legends in P5, Men's in P6, Adrian P7, that guy P8, Blend in P9, uh, and to round out the points is SLR Mash in P10. Wow. Um, I believe also Fastest Lap went to... Yeah, Sadie. There you go. I think we're just waiting for Sadia. He's just limping home. He's got no fuel left, folks. That's what we're waiting for. He did get the fastest lap, though. Oh, God. A 10-second time penalty. I mean, it's not like it matters, but... 